just about. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole, and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc, Verstappen, Perez, Sainz and Sebastian Vettel, Ocon, Stroll, Fernando Alonso and Sonoda, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin, Brown and George Russell ends our grid lineup. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So I managed to get away with not. Second win. It's lights out and away we go. It's a good stop. To cover off Daniel Ricciardo into turn one. We tried to go down the inside and gained a couple of places. Yes, I. The most dangerous corner, the quickest. No, no, there's there's the Alfa Romeo of G.
in the Kitamazapin of What a fantastic Grand Prix that was, and an excellent win for McLaren. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack, and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. 
Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, there was a lot of incredible driving out there today, Crofty, but if I had to pick someone, it's got to be Sergio Perez. Fantastic driving. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today. Here's the standings, because we only have those points.